Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's case that I'm going to be talking to you about is the James Moody case. So James Moody had disappeared when he was 30. He has gone missing from in Faversham in Kent and he has been missing since the 17th of the 5th, 1998. James Moody, who was 30, went missing from his home in Faversham shortly after lunch on 17th of May 1998. Despite numerous media appeals and various possible sightings in the southeast, he has not been traced. Doris Moody said, There isn't a day that goes by when I don't think of him. I just wish I could see him again. On the day he disappeared, Mr Moody had been shopping with his mother before they returned to the family home, that he then vanished a few hours later. There was a lot of sadness and grief. Four months later, the police had found his car abandoned at Selinge Railway Station. He had been working at a horticultural technician in East Morland. But since his disappearance, his bank accounts have been left untouched. Mrs Moody, she said that she felt great sadness and grief over the loss of her son. This is like a story without the end, she had added. Mr Moody, who was known to friends as Jim, is six foot tall, slim with blue eyes and had a short brown hair. He's often wore a gold hoop in his left ear. Missing people had created an age-progressed image to show how he may look like in his late 30s. It is possible that he may have done some casual farm work. So that is what I can find on James Moody so far online. So I decided to do some tarot cards to see um, what things is going to be brought up so what I've done is four specific questions like I do in all my videos so number one what happened to James Moody two who was involved in his disappearance three where is James Moody now and four what is the final outcome to be for James Moody's case so number one what happened to James Moody the first card you have then is the Page of Wands. So there was a situation where he gave anything and everything a go because there was a form of an opportunity that came in for him that he wanted to start something new. He wanted to go on a new journey. And I feel like this is where he had gone on to do something very different from his own norm. He had a lot of excitement about the possibilities that he had going on and there was nothing that got in the way of what he wanted in life. And there were some things that he did that was trying to test his own ideas to try and create a few experiments before committing to something or someone. There was also a curious mind that he had at the time where he felt very intrigued to see where things would lead. And I feel that there was someone that he had met here where they had walked on the same path as him before. The next card was Reverse Seven of Cups. So there had been some several different choices that he was faced with. Um, and I feel like this was to do with some reflection on what he wanted to do for his future. There was a lot of overwhelmness of choices that he needed to focus on at this time. And I feel like there was a lot of important decision making that he needed to do and he needed to move on forward with what he chose. Ace of Swords in reverse. So there was a new idea or a breakthrough that came in for him. Um, something emerged within himself and I feel like he wanted to go out to explore something. And it did sort of um, bring some happy outcome for him there. And I feel like there was some clouded judgment that was involved. And I feel like there was some truths that he needed to seek at this time. 
nine of cups in reverse i feel like he had lost touch with what was really important to him in, to himself and i feel like instead of looking outside himself for what he wanted to make him happy he needed to look inside himself to see what would make him happy and with that i feel like there had been some frustrations with what he wanted um but things wasn't going his way to a certain extent and i feel like he had chosen things that was not satisfying his needs but there was um some time where he wanted to try and reconnect with his goals or reconnect with someone here and i feel like he had possibly in been involved with either excessive eating excessive drinking or partying or involvements of drugs or involvements with money matters okay reverse six of wands there had been a completed milestone that he had and i feel like he had kept this very quiet from people and he wanted to keep it to himself and i feel like there was a feeling of being very uncomfortable with receiving um, either public praise or there was lack of confidence and feeling very nervous with him. And I feel like there were some things that he expected to work well, but ended up um, not going the way he should have gone. And I feel like there was someone that may have been involved that um, could have been involved in some form of a dispute here. There had been feelings that this person may have felt really um closed off to some people maybe his family members or his friends and i feel like it was a situation where he went down um he met someone that he had known from the past that may be involved here and i feel like this could be linked to an ex-partner and there were some things that needed to be kept as a secret or being kept quiet in case there was some judgment that may have been involved here reverse tower there was a personal transformation that you went under or it could have been involvements of upheaval or some form of chaos that happened and i feel like there was a spiritual awakening that he went undergone and there was a lot of unsettling moments that he had endured and i feel like he had gone and clung on to someone or something that wasn't very good for him and I feel like there was a valuable le life lesson that he had gone um, and learned from. Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse then. So he had been giving himself a lot of love, um, <clears throat> exploring himself in different ways. And I feel like he had been keeping a lot of his feelings to himself. And I feel like there was a sense of withholding his own emotions due to either getting hurt or to do with some fears that he had going on and there had been some um some issues regarding a partner here that i can see as well involving some form of a relationship reverse ace of wands there was a situation where he felt like he needed to try and slow down with what he was going through and i feel like he needed to consider to do what he wanted to do before charging into a situation or going at someone there was involvement of making a certain mistake or a um poor decision making that he was involved with and i feel like um this was regarding jumping from either one person to another or jumping from one situation to another and i feel like this caused a lot of um problems here for him there had been some impatience and frustrations because there had been someone or some form of an obstacle that was in his way reverse sun there had been a lot of struggles that he had gone through and i feel like he had experienced a lot of setbacks and i feel like he had been very depressed or he felt left out of a certain situation things was only going to be temporary for him and i feel like he may have been a person that was either too egoistical or he was very um too confident in himself and he lost the sense of who he actually was reverse six of cups so he had some form of clinginess to his past he wasn't focusing quite as much on his present moments and i feel like there had been a lot of nostalgia 
um, and thinking of wanting things like it used to be and I feel like there used to be a relationship that they had where he had a lot of feelings for this person that he was missing either missing out on something or he was missing a certain person here there had been some missed opportunities here that I can see as well and feeling like um, there is a lot of learning from his own past mistakes and I feel like he needed to try and forgive himself or he needed to try and forgive someone here. Reverse Seven of Pentacles. He had gone through a phase where he needed to try and stop investing in something that he didn't see working out or that he didn't see um, any, succeed, any succeeding or any value in it. And I feel like he either quit something, packed it in, or he just went and started something new. And I feel like this could have been regarding a relationship or a certain situation. And I feel like there was a lot of worrying about losing something here. There was a realisation of no matter how much he tried, he feel like this thing or situation was just not worth his time anymore. We have Ten of Swords then that is upright. So there is a painful ending that is regarding um, to do with a relationship or a job that came out of the blue and rocked their world. And I feel like there is the situation where he never expected something to happen the way it actually did happen. And I feel like there was a lot of being shocked to the core with this certain pain um, and situation that had happened. And I feel like there is involvement of being stabbed in the back or being betrayed or being deeply hurt here. He needed to try and pick himself up and try and move forward with his life. And I feel like there was to um, try and let go of a situation and try and accept the certain circumstances that was involved. And I feel like it was a learning experience with this, but also trying to um, learn from the pain and to draw wisdom in from all the hurt and all the defeatness that he had endured. Two of Cups. So there was a love situation that came in or there was a situation where he met up with someone and had a form of a meeting. Because I can see that there was a deep connection here, maybe sharing their own values, um, having potential for a relationship or a partnership to try and grow. So try and, um, trying to connect with this person to make things work out, you know, to go well. And I feel like there was mutual respect between him and another person. And I feel like this could have been um, to do with sharing something with each other. And I feel like they, if they was working together, then they had a good potential of working good together. And I feel like there was a great, good communication that came out of it as well. And I see that there could have been some good trust involvement here as well. We have then the reverse justice. So there was feelings of being um, something happened that didn't feel really right. OK, and I feel like with this, people may not have seen it yet, but I feel like there was a choice either to hide this certain thing that happened um, and hope that no one found out about it, because I'm feeling that there is the feelings of Someone's not opening up to their mistakes and there was the sense of the situation wants to be resolved, is trying to be resolved here. And I feel like whatever it is, there is consequences of this person um, that has something on their own consciousness. And I feel like this person has a situation um, where they're willing not to take full responsibility for their own actions. And I feel like they're trying to dodge a bullet, so to speak. And this could be linked to a legal matter or this could be to do with some dispute that had happened. OK, reverse four of pentacles. There was um, a form of reevaluating something. And I feel like this could be linked to family, money, wealth, something along them lines. And I feel like there was the sense of loosening a grip of reality um, but also needed to try and surround themselves with love um, and happiness 
of those sorts and I feel like there was um, some greed that may have been involved here but there is that sense of having a strong desire to, desire for some security and stability in a situation and I feel like there was a sense of tried their best you know tried everything in their power to try and create a stable environment for themselves but also for the person or people that they were around okay nine of pentacles there was a lot of hard work that had gone into something and I feel like there was a lot of abundance that was coming in, feeling that there was a lot of wealth, a lot of comfort, confidence, um, but also the sense of trying to enjoy themselves, trying to relax, could be in during enjoying pampering themselves or just enjoying their own single life and just being out, just enjoying every moment. And I feel like there was a lot of independence and not relying on other people. And I feel like it was this high vibe frequency of like ecstaticness, you know, and just enjoying, you know, that moment in time. Okay. So the next question I asked then was who was involved in the disappearance of James Moody? And we had the chariot card. So there was a lot of willpower and determination here and I feel like someone took some form of action um, and it was regarding some challenges that was involved and I feel like someone tried distracting James here and I feel like where there was a lot of happiness he was enduring, he had been distracted from that situation and I feel like someone was trying to be very courageous and bold and they tried laying down some boundaries. And I feel like there ended up being some form of a travel, some movements here. And I feel like this could have been a journey that he had ended up going on. And I feel like there may have been involvements of a car here as well. Seven of Wands. He had been challenged here, but there was the sense of a lot of stress, um, fighting for what he stood for. Um, and also someone was there to defend another person who is a lot of defensiveness and trying to defend. Um, they'd also been, whatever happened to you, it came as a big surprise. And I feel like it was a sense of confrontation and trying to confront someone here that did pose as a threat. Three of Cups upright. So there was involvement of a celebration, could be to do with being around friends, being around family. Um, there was some form of standing by one another here. So I can see that it was a connection, could be three people that was involved here. But it was that sense of things was going really well. Um, and spell, uh, spend in quality time with the ones he loved at the time. Three of Swords in reverse. So there had been some words that were spoken that were very powerful, especially um, to do with a situation where someone else had approached him. And I feel like he knew deep down what it took to deserve you know, to be loved, you know, and to love someone, but also there was a lot of hurt that kept holding someone here as well. And I feel like it was a rough patch, but also there was a sense of trying to be very joyous and trying to bring in some form of a recovery. All this person or James wanted to be was a peacemaker. And I feel like there was a form of regret here and I feel like someone um, had been feeling afraid. They felt like they couldn't say sorry because there was something um, that was holding them back from saying so. So with the four card, there was a new beginning that coming in where there was a lot of opportunities and some potential for something. And I feel like there was a leap of faith. There was a lot of curiousness and being excited to see where something led and I feel like there was a lot of fears and anxieties that was being left behind. There was some um, new experiences going on, some personal growth 
um, but also taking that leap of faith to try and embrace on taking a chance on something or someone to see where it led. Two of Swords. So he had been faced with a challenging decision and I feel they felt very unsure which option to take. And I feel like there was the need to try and research or involve some form of options or trying to seek some form of an out side um opinions from people and i feel like there had been some feelings of trying to avoiding either talking to someone or to avoid making a certain choice and i feel like with that this led to some form of conflict and also some stagnation here with making a specific choice with the best intentions it can lead to some consequences okay reverse seven of swords there had been a lot of doubt in oneself here and their own abilities there was a lot of deceiving themselves and also saying things or feeling that things are going to be okay when they actually wasn't going to be okay and i feel like there was a lot of hidden secrets here um, and hoping that they wouldn't get revealed there was the need to try and forgive you someone or forgive themselves to try and confide in someone that they actually trusted. There may have been involvement in an affair or in an extramarital relations here. And I feel like it was one person that felt like they was growing really reluctant to keep these secrets, you know. Um, and the, one of the people wanted just to open up, you know, and just be honest and speak the truth. But the other person, they just did not want that. Five of Pentacles. There had been some loss here, and I feel that like it could be to do with financial loss or feeling as if they were in poverty. There had been um, hitting hard time, you know, hitting rock bottom. There could have been a loss of a job, loss of a home, or loss of an opportunity, or loss of a person here. And I feel like... It felt like this person's friends, family, whoever it was, like they didn't care. And I feel like they had been isolated and being put alone for a while. And I feel like for some of them, they needed to ask for help, but then they just tend to swallow their own pride with a certain situation um, rather than to reach out. They just want to just leave things as it is, so to speak. Okay, judgment. So there was a need to try and rise above someone or something to realise that they were destined for much better than what they was getting. And I feel like there was a sense of trying to let their old selves go to step into a new version of themselves um, because there was a major life change that happened. And I feel like this was involved in some form of decision but also being at a crossroads with that. And I feel like they needed to try and trust themselves. Um, there was a certain path that they had gone on and they was trying to put their own past behind them. Um, there was a lot of struggles that this person had and I feel like they needed to tell someone about their struggles because it kept weighing them down. Okay then, so we have reverse strength. So there was a lot of vulnerability here and lack in self-confidence. There was feelings of being very sluggish but needed that rest and to, to withdraw um, from people for a short period of time. There had been involvement of explosive behaviour, a lash out, being aggressive um, and also regretting this later on down the line. There was someone that tried seeking help with dealing with their own emotions and their actions here as well. Okay, four of cups. There was an invitation and an opportunity that came in, but someone had turned this down. So it may have been James or someone else that turned this opportunity away. There had been no feelings of being interested in this um, or they had too much going on. And I feel like before accepting 
something they needed to try and ground themselves needed to try and spend more time reflecting um there had been feelings of either being bored or being very dissatisfied with something there was a lot of being closed off from people due to a situation it could be to do with breakup a heartbreak or tried avoiding something or someone um to not get in that certain situation again okay where is James Moody now? We had the Four of Wands in reverse. So there was a celebration of a personal goal um, where they was also like celebrating like going out drinking or being with friends, family, getting out, just celebrating something small, nothing too major. There had been um, some form of harmony and stability but also there may have been involvement to do with a breakdown in a family relationship um, regarding some tension that had been involved to do with some form of loved ones. Reverse Five of Swords. So there was a lot of arguing and realising that no matter how hard they tried, they always lost. They always had that sense of a loss. Um, there was a sense of either James and their person or someone else had been fighting for something, fighting to win at something at, at the expense of the other person. And I feel like they needed to uh, forgive, to move on. And also there was always involvement of conflict and trouble. There had been fears of the past repeating itself over and over again. There may have been also um, an ex that tried creeping back to make things very difficult here. Um, but there was a sense of trying to avoid them. And I feel like there had been um, a recent or a past argument with someone who James was very close to at one point that has negative emotions for James. And I feel like this impacted on him quite some some bit knight of cups there is someone that's very romantic that use their own intuition and their emotions they're very charming and i feel like there was a lot of compassion with them where they are very caring where their heart and their sleeve where they had come in and took some form of action here there had been some action where they had to make a decision based on how they felt about someone or something. World card. So there had been some form of a fulfillment here, some completion. Things are slowly coming in. There is going to be some closure involvements. And I feel like they could be to do with marriage, birth or chief dreams. There also could be an accomplishment and everything finally coming together here. And I feel like there is to be some celebration of success this year and becoming very strong and very wise. But if this hasn't come to that yet, then it is very close to. And I feel like there is involvement of traveling here as well. Okay. What is the final outcome to be for James Moody's case? And we had the reverse King of Wands. So there is some aggressiveness and arrogance of a male. There may have been success getting to someone's head where there is thoughts of being above people. There is also looking down their nose to people, so to speak, staying true to what is important to them where there is a lot of keeping focusing on their own personal vision and their direction. So this may be James or someone involved in this situation. Wheel of Fortune reverse. There's feelings of bad luck here, things turning for the worst. There is unexpected change or bad things at play, leaving someone feeling very helpless where they need to try and take back control of something. And I feel like there is a sense of trying to get back on track with something. There is also um, actions or circumstances that happened that was very much out of control. 
things could be to do with um, involvement of making mistakes or learning from these past mistakes, but also feel like it is hitting that rock bottom. So a lot of emotions going on in a negative sense here. High Priestess. So there, are, there is um, some hidden mysteries that is going to be coming out here and I feel like there's a lot of knowledge coming out. There is to be um, some form of bringing balance in but also staying very quiet, staying very content and listening to one's own intuition here and I feel like this person who is here now, I feel like they are trying to trust their own abilities, trying to trust their own intuition um, and to know that they are on the right proud on the right path and to be very proud with what they're doing and I feel like there is something that has been hidden away that needs to be out in the open so to speak reverse eight of cups there is walking from a certain situation that got someone thinking shall I stay shall I go um, there is also listening to one's own tuition to see whether they should give someone or something a certain chance. But also know only that um, what is actually good for them. And I feel like there is going from one place to one person because there is a sense of um, never being very satisfied with what they have. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. So... Someone may start to share in wealth or share um, their own money, something of that. Um, there is to be a lot of generosity coming in here and I feel like there is to be some love and support coming in. There is to be some contribution um, and knowing that there is a lot of value coming in. Um, some things are coming in where there is be inclined to make a loan to someone or to make a promise that they will pay someone back but there is a lot of happiness to share something with someone that is in need here and then we have the reverse eight of pentacles where there is a lot of dedication coming in to do the best, you know, uh, and willing to do things over and over until there is to be results coming in. And I feel like there is to be a lot of well-being and general happiness to come in. There may be some lack of skills here or there is something coming in that is going to be very successful. Okay, I asked another question with a different deck of cards, which is, what is very specific in the area where James Moody is right now? And we had a circle for significance. So this could be a sign, a symbol, um, something like that, okay? So in the area where he is, it is initial L. There is a sign or symbol of a lion. There is a bakery shop. Something that has a loop. There's a lizard. Feather. A letter L in the area where he is. There's a vase, sign or symbol. There is a violin or a form of a musical instrument. There's a vulture. There is a letter C in the area name where he is or very close in the area. There is a chain. There's clouds. There's a letter W in the area name. There's a wolf, a cow or a crown, sign or symbol. There is a building component very close to him. There is a letter Y in the area name. There is a yacht, a pig, a wasp, a watch or a clock. So that is what I have for the James Moody case. Um, I really hope things will get resolved and he get found. If you enjoy my videos, please give it a like, share, subscribe and until next time, take care. See you in the next one.